Hello and welcome back. In this video, you're going to learn about root cause analysis and project management. In addition to that, you're going to learn how to use this useful technique when problems arise in your project. I am Qadir from Engineering. Root cause analysis is a methodical approach used to identify the underlying causes of problems or events. It involves investigating and analyzing the factors that contributed to a particular issue rather than just addressing its symptoms. Root cause analysis aims to uncover the fundamental causes to prevent the problems from recurring in the future. Root cause analysis is also known by various other names. Number one, cause and effect analysis. This name emphasizes the analysis of cause and effect relationships to identify the root causes of a problem. Number two, fishbone analysis. Referring to the fishbone or Ishikawa diagram, this method visually represents the potential causes of a problem by categorizing them into various branches resembling to the shape of a fishbone. Number three, five whys. This technique involves asking why repeatedly, typically five times, to delve deeper into the underlying causes of a problem. By asking why multiple times, it helps to reach the root cause of an issue. Number four, fault tree analysis. This method involves constructing a graphical diagram called a fault tree, which traces all possible causes and combinations of events that could lead to a specific problem. Number five, incident analysis. Used primarily in safety and incident management, this process involves examining incidents accidents or near misses to identify the root causes and prevent future occurrences. Number six, problem solving analysis. This term conveys the essence of RCA or root cause analysis, which is to solve problems by identifying and addressing their root causes. Root cause analysis is a systematic process used to identify the underlying causes of problems or events. Here are the steps typically involved in conducting a root cause analysis. Number one, define the problem. Clearly articulate the problem or event that occurred. This helps to establish a clear focus for the analysis. Number two, gather information. Collect relevant data and facts about the problem or event. This can include incident reports, observations, interviews, and any available documentation. Number three, identify the immediate causes. Determine the immediate causes that directly led to the problem or event. These causes are often most visible and easily identifiable. Number five, ask why multiple times. Start asking why to dig deeper into the root causes. For each immediate cause identified in previous step, ask why it occurred. Repeat this process multiple times to undercover underlying factors. Number five, use cause and effect analysis techniques. Utilize tools such as the five whys, fishbone diagrams, or fault tree analysis to visualize the relationships between causes and effects. These techniques help to identify contributing factors and their interdependencies. Number six, analyze data. Examine the gathered data and evidence to identify patterns, trends, or correlations. Look for commonalities or recurring issues that may contribute to the problem. Number seven, determine root causes. Based on the analysis, identify the root causes that, if addressed, can prevent the problem from occurring or recurring in the future. Root causes are the fundamental issues that when resolved, eliminate or significantly reduce the likelihood of the problem. Number eight, develop corrective actions. Generate a list of corrective actions or recommendations to address the identified root causes. These actions should be specific, achievable, and focused on preventing similar problems in the future. Number nine, implement and monitor. Put the corrective actions into practice and monitor their effectiveness. Track progress to ensure that the desired outcomes are achieved and that the identified root causes have been effectively addressed. Last but not least in here is learning from the process. Reflect on the root cause analysis process itself 
and identify opportunities for improvement, continuously refine and enhance the analysis process to foster a culture of learning and proactive problem solving. Remember, the specific steps and tools used in root cause analysis may vary depending on the context and problem at hand. So this is basically what root cause analysis is and how to solve problems in a step-by-step -step process when they arise in your projects. I hope you found the content of the videos helpful. If you did so, consider subscribing to this YouTube channel and following us on Instagram and LinkedIn. Thank you very much for watching.